Hey guys, Strike here, and welcome back to Fallout 2. We are in the village of Arroyo, which I want to call Araya because it sounds so much better. And what we are going to do right now is we are going to go save a dude's dog because nothing in any way scary or impactful has happened just yet. Where the fuck am I? We're meant to be in the hunting grounds. This doesn't feel like a hunting ground of any kind. Then again, what the fuck is that? What the hell are you, Gecko? You're walking on fucking hind legs. There's so much more enemy variety in this game. I love it. All right, well, we're going to wander on by. I can't see a dog, but I do hear a little a little woof woofy going on over there. Oh, there you are, you little bastard. Smoke. There we go. All right, well, we still only have a pathetic fucking twig to do uh, uh, our, our stabby stabbies with. Now, we suck at the stabby stabbies and have no companions. So this might take me an awfully long time to clear out. So we'll see what kind of damage we do against these gecko... B oh, wait, are you even hostile? Oh, no, they might... They're not even hostile. Oh. Well, that's not in any way worrying. Okay, well, I'm going to take some of this Brock flower shite, because I believe that's... Oh, no, this one's suddenly hostile. Okay. That one was just a really friendly boy. All right, well, we're going to walk on over. We're going to see the kind of damage we do. 42 fucking percent. This is going to take me ages. I'm not even healed. Uh-oh. We can't die. Four hit points yet. Yeah, yeah uh, we're going to struggle here, guys. I'll see you soon. Well, we're here with the final gecko in the entire area, and the game has been lovely and courteous enough to place us basically behind some trees so we can't see anything, and I'm getting my ass chewed out. But we're so close to getting that dog, I will not leave it behind, damn it. I cleared all of these geckos, having to do these kinds of fights over and over. Now, by the way, guys, if you are, if you didn't watch the Fallout 1 series, um, with the way I play, with the sort of style of character I've gone with in both series is the combat is gonna utterly suck at the start of the game because we're an absolute charismatic intelligent god who at the moment doesn't know how to wield a gun or a spear or anything but don't you worry once we get guns and i level up a little bit combat will become far more interesting plus combat is hardly what people come to fallout for i know i come for the stories especially in like the first cut two games like the classic fallout games mm, mm, that feels good all right Come on, buddy. I didn't expect it to take this friggin' long to cut him down. <sighs> I don't know why I came back in when we can't even see anything. And all I gotta do is poke a fucking lizard over and over and over again. If you're wondering why I'm running away, it's because if I don't, they, um, they hit me twice and kill me against one gecko at the start of the damn game. So if I run away a little bit, they only get enough, um, AP or whatever to hit me once. Which is much better, especially since my dude seems to be a god of dodging. Either that or the gecko is as bad at fighting as I am, which would make sense since I keep killing it. <sighs> but I guess I do have, like, the ultimate intelligence. I probably should be able to rip a gecko apart, at least. Come on, man, I just want to save the dog! I don't know why I couldn't just walk through the trees, but I had to go up and take on this extra gecko. Come on, you little bastard! Oh my god, I did not expect to have run around the entire map. This gecko is being such a dick. All the others have not taken this long to kill. There you go. Of course, it's the one I actually come back in for that does it. All right. Well, across that bridge we go. Normally, I would heal just in case. But, uh, yeah, I've been back to that fucking shaman so damn... Did I just... Just walk through the fucking goo, you idiot. What the hell was that? Why did you walk over it? Okay. Um, hello, Smokey. Let's go ahead and save. Because, hell, I haven't saved since we started that shit, and I really don't want to deal with that again. Hello, buddy. Please come with me. Wait, we can't actually talk to you? Can I just leave and have you be my companion? Can you be the dog meat of the game? Although dog meat in Fallout 1 was the most annoying fucking companion, because he just wouldn't play anything smart. I guess you can't really play too much smart when you're a dog. But he'd just run at dudes in full fucking power armor and whatever and get his head ripped off. And I hadn't saved. I had to spend like hours trying to save his life or whatever. I still fucking loved him. Oh. Oh no, like, oh, I love you for saving my life. No, doggy, you're just gonna go right back to this bitch. I don't even think it's her. You found smoke. Thanks. Smoke, you're a bad dog. You're welcome. Goodbye. That was it. That was literally it. I did all of that just for a... Just for... You to scold your fucking dog in front of me? 
And five karma? God, I should kill you for that, arsehole. What else do we need to do? There's quite a lot that we, um, that we were given, surprisingly, considering it's literally the start of the damn game. Um. Hmm. Well, I'll be honest, I don't know whatever the hell we're meant to be doing around here now. I feel like we're pretty much done, right? I mean, let's, let's see where all the, uh, where all the little exit grids lead us to. But I feel like we're done in Arroyo. I mean, this is the fucking place. The Vault Dweller, our dude from- Oh, fuck, I don't want to be back here. Our dude from fucking Fallout 1. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Just thought I'd say hello. Yeah, um, our character from Fallout 1 founded this shithole. It's freaking tiny. Why bother? Like, come on. Yeah, I don't- I don't believe that there is, uh, anything else for us to do around here. Maybe the village took, like, a nasty hit after, um, after he died or whatever. Maybe it's just been going downhill. I mean, it is a nuclear wasteland. Although there are, like, a surprising amount of trees here. Hello, tribesman. Hello, tribeswoman. Do we happen to have anything in these tents at all? Nope, just shit I can steal, and I kinda wanna be a good guy in this playthrough. That doesn't stop us from, uh, having a little- having a little tinker now, does it? Because of course they have nothing. Who are you? The Bridge Guard! Hello, Chosen One. You have to find the Gek! Uh, yes. But before I go, I'd like to ask you some questions. What do you wanna know? Uh, what can you tell me of the men who trade with our village? The traders? They come from Klamath, Klamath, sorry, about every two months. There won't be another here for a month or more, but Klamath's only a few days east of here. What can you tell me about this object I have from, I have from the Sacred Vault? Looks like a metal water guard. Maybe the vault sent it to us as an omen. Uh, can you tell me you brought this item to our village? I don't remember his name, just that he was old and loud, too loud for proper manners. But he knew many things. He was from Klamath, east, like I said. Thank you. Well, I'm not really done talking to you. Um. Hmm. I would like to ask more questions. Any final advice before I head out into the unknown? Certainly. Beware of the weapons of the Outstriders. The Gecko's Bite is nothing compared to the destructive power of their boomsticks. Got it. Anything- I mean, my- my Vault Dweller had so many guns. Like, he was carrying, like, at least 12 guns on him by the time he founded this fucking village. Why don't we have guns? Uh, do not give your trust freely. Honor means very little out in the wastes. Stay alert, and always question the motives of others. Sure thing. Is that all? Never forget your roots. The world outside our village is full of shiny toys and luxuries that might make our life out here in Arroyo appear simple and plain. But remember that the lifestyle of the outsiders is ruled by greed and corruption. Be wary. Not to become like he who must not be named. And who might that be? Are you drunk with the glory of being the chosen one that you've forgotten about? <sighs> Kaga. Oh, that's who I thought you meant. But why don't you go ahead and tell me what his deal is again? I really love that story. <sighs> As you should know. He was once the greatest warrior of our tribe. He led many expeditions into the outside world, and it was there where corruption began to poison his mind. He became infatuated with the ways of the outsiders, where power could bring anyone great respect and luxury. He began to view himself as superior to his fellow tribesmen who was content to live a more simple life. Go on. When our tribe fell into these hard times, he deemed himself our people's saviour, and entered the Temple of the Trials to prove himself to the Chosen One. Go on. He made his way through the temple, quickly reaching the final test. A hand-to-hand -hand battle with a fellow warrior. Wait, he blew up that door and everything? Do you have to rebuild it every time someone goes through the temple? Speaking of that, who built the temple in the first place? Those were all the questions I asked before. That's amazing. I am kind of at odds with the self-aware humor that this game has going for it. I mean, Fallout had a bit of it, but it also had this overwhelm- Not overwhelming. This fantastic- all-encompassing, I should say, atmosphere of mystery and also sort of solitude. And it was almost creepy in place, and I love that. This one doesn't quite have it yet, but it, maybe it's just because we're still in the village and it's being a bit self-aware at the start of the game. But anyway, go on. During the final trial, he must not be named unsheathed the hidden blade and used it to kill his opponent. When the Elder confronted him about his dishonorable use of a hidden weapon, he argued that it was not cheating, but rather... 
proved him to be a cunning warrior. The elder did not agree. He who must not be named was forcibly exiled from our tribe, and his name was never to be spoken amongst us again. And he was cast away into the wastes. He swore an oath of vengeance against our tribe. And especially you. What the hell did I do? You are the chosen one. A title he feels is rightfully his. His pride will not allow you to live. Um... I'll be on my guard. Hopefully he's dead out in the waste by now. Listen and understand. He is out there. He can't be bargained with and he can't be reasoned with. He won't feel pity, remorse or fear. And he absolutely will not stop ever until you are dead. In, uh... Well, let's not, let's not insult the dude. So I'll keep that in mind. Take care, Minoc. So you're Minoc, huh? You still just count as the bridge guard for me. Uh, I want to barter with you and see if you've got anything decent. You got a combat knife? For 63? No! Oh shit, I didn't get any more healing powder made. We're gonna quickly go and make some- actually. Is healing powder more or less expensive than, uh... Oh my god, I opened Siri! What did I say that sounded like, hey Siri? No, piss off Siri, you're unwanted. Close, there we go. Um... That cost one dollar. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go make some healing, healing power with the, uh, with the, with the boy, the man, uh, the elder. There you go, that's what I'm trying to say. And I'll see you back on the bridge, because we are going to Klamath, I think. Slightly less cool when I add an I think on the end, isn't it? Well, it turns out I don't actually, I've only got one of the ingredients. I thought we picked up two different types out in the, uh, out in the little gecko land with, uh, the Brock flower and something else, but it's so weird starting this game not in a vault. I should mention, like, I'm- Oh, wow, okay, we've already got the location of Klamath. Oh, I thought the locations list was tiny for a minute then, but no, it's massive and you actually need to scroll. Fuck yeah, we'll go to Klamath. Interesting that the map is basically the same as always, but my god, are we slow! We're taking days just to cross to this random village! Oh, I'm not a fan of that. Jesus, we need some kind of speed. I don't know how we're going to get any speed, but... Yeah, we just took several days to get there. I don't know how long this game could last, but if there's a time limit, which I'm not sure there is, uh, we're fucked. We're absolutely fucked. Hello. You've gained one perception. Why? Oh, was I still stupid after uh, taking the... What was it, an antidote? Or was it the healing powder? I believe it was the healing powder. Um... Oh, who are you? Should we talk to this little farmer down here, one of Klamath's citizens? Oh, and you are shambling... You're a sickly man, huh? Why don't you just go back to your tribe? Fuck you, buddy! I don't even look like a tribesman! I'm wearing vault clothes! Hello there. I haven't seen you in Klamath before. I'm Aldo. Town greeter. <laughs> oh, fuck off. I'm trying to... I hate that it still does that. It's my job to greet anyone new in town and... To answer any questions that they might have in our bucolic little burg. Welcome to Clement. Uh, who might you be? Um, my name's Edge. Thanks for welcoming me here. Um, don't call him a filthy drunkard, you bastard. Uh, yeah, okay, thanks for welcoming me. Well, friend, since you're new to these <coughs> parts, you look as though you could use some uh, pointers. I'll let you know that it's customary to tip the town greeter before you are for asking questions and such. Is a tip still have the booze or what? No. Uh, a tip, huh? Well, I guess it. No. You should give me a tip so I won't take the title Red Clomuff at your filthy heart, filthy eye. No! Yeah, we'll give him $5. Oh, thanks for the money. But uh, to use it to get some medicine for my dry throat. <laughs> Consider yourself officially <coughs> greeted to the town of Clomuff. Do you have any other questions about our fair metropolis? Um... Alda. Oh, was that the dude's name? I didn't even notice. I was curious about a thing or two. Ask away, oh benefactor of mine. What do folks do here? Here in Klamath, some people farm, some raise Brahmin. But trapping geckos is what most of the people do. What's a gecko? You've literally killed one. A gecko is a large lizard that's- I'm gonna stop giving my drunk voice now. Hunted by the trappers around these parts for its meat and hide. But it sure is a lot of work to catch them dang critters. And dangerous work too. My advice to a friend. Avoid it. It's far too much work. Okay, well let's keep asking. Um, where can I find a, things to trade? You can buy or trade things at Buckner's house and also the golden gecko. 
Sometimes they even have healing herbs available. Not that they give me any for my <laughs> condition. They're both skin flints. Hold on. They're both run by real skin flints. Just get a little behind on your uh, tab and out you go into the cold rain. Uh, okay. I've always found the fresh air invigorating. Hmm, I have another question for you. Okay. Uh, where do you buy your booze? I mean, my much needed medicine. <laughs> well, I used to buy it at either the Golden Gecko or the Buckner place. But they won't sell it to me unless until I pay some money on my bill. Lucky for me, Whiskey Bob's been making a bit of medicine for some of his friends. Uh, interesting. Where would I find this Whiskey Bob? Whiskey Bob is usually at Buckner's place, right here in downtown. I don't think he's been able to get out of- out to tend his- is still lately, I don't know what that means. He's just not a reliable source of medicine for someone as unwell as myself. <laughs> Glad you found another supplier. Could you breathe- Could you breathe a bit more downwind? <laughs> oh my god, why are we being so rude to this guy? Um, do you know where I might find a geck? Of course he doesn't. A geck? Hey, hey, do you mean a gecko? Never heard about a geck, but I'll tell you about geckos. I don't want to know about a gecko. Um, can I borrow? Can I get my five dollars back? Oh, it's not even in your inventory, you sneaky bastard. They're just gone. Uh, yeah, I think that's all we need to know. I'm certain that your generosity is not as deep as myself, but good luck. I'll see you again soon. Oh, but actually does bring me good luck. If it was that easy to level up my luck stat, that'd be wonderful. Uh, we got a notice board here, huh? I can talk to the notice board. There are several things here. Some ads, job notices, and even a drawing. Looks as though some of these have uh, been here for a while. Okay, uh, let's take a look at the drawing. A crude drawing of what looks like a Brahmin with a big X through through it and the word Tor scrawled underneath. Okay, well, we'll look at another one. Something about booze. Got your attention, didn't I? Bum leg prevent- what the fuck does that mean? Prevents business. Need out refueling still. Speedy and reliable type needed. See Whiskey Bob over at my Buckner's place. I wonder if I can barter with the board. Come on. Oh, come on. I want to sell things to the fucking notice board. Imagine that being my first impression. Just this crazy fucker shows up and is just trying to sell his shit. No, we'll try that again. Well, I guess we'll definitely head over to Whiskey Bob or whatever. Can I barter with the fucking notice board? Can I, can I sell all my shit to you? Is this thing just a ma major fucking... Business mogul. No, no, come on. Come on, I like to make the best first impressions. The best first ex impressions of this crazy dude showing up throwing money at the cardboard. Fine, whatever. Take a look at another notice. Something here about a bath. I could take a bath. Feeling grubby. Nothing makes a fella feel better than a nice bath. Three fun filled types to choose from. Featuring the beautiful and talented Jenny. This is Jenny's voice. Later the den. See Big No Sal at the bathhouse, some more exciting details. Alright, well we're gonna take a look. Someone wants to buy some lizardites. I don't know how- you couldn't loot the geckos where we were from, so that's interesting. Top dollar for top pelts? No. Uh, something about rats. Can I clear rats? Too many damn rats in Trapper Town! Come and get them, all you can eat! Slim. Is it- are you, are you selling me rats to eat? Or is that like, kill the rats and we'll give you some food? I don't know. Looks like someone's gone miss- oh wait, something about old stuff. Jana wine and antiques? What does Jana wine mean? Oh, genuine. Genuine antiques, I imagine that means. Uh, they don't make it like they used to. In fact, they mostly don't make it at all. If you want the good old stuff, see Vic the Trader, east side of town. Uh, and we'll look at one more notice. Looks like someone's gone missing. Has anyone seen Smiley the Trapper? Trapper's about six feet- oh sorry, Smiley's about six feet tall, clean and housebroken. Mostly. Disappeared up north, and I kind of miss him. Arden Buckner. Well, that's everything. So it looks like we've just got a ton more uh, opportunities to explore. Hello, child. No, that's not a child. That is... I mean, that's not a mailbox game. That is a child. There you go. I wouldn't exactly want to post my goddamn package into him. What do we got here? Me. Tor. Nice to meet you, Tor. Anything interesting happened here lately? Bugman took Mumu's at night. Tor scared. Help, Tor. Um... Uh, sure, Tor. I can help you guard the Brahmin. You help Tor? Mumu's field. Points east of here. No, that's not his- Points east of here. Now, yes? Uh, yeah, I can help you now, I guess. Probably should have saved- Oh, God! Well, it's only Scorps. We can deal with Scorps, and hopefully Tor is just- Uh, what are you? You can see two very similar looking men. They could be twins, both heavily muscled and have beetling brows. I have no idea what the fuck that means. 
So just please let me kill this fucking boy and hopefully everything will be fine. I'm gonna go behind it and we're gonna hope Tor goes first. I don't exactly want to get stabbed. Wait, why have I got another turn already? Am I that much faster than this fucking Scorp? Ah, okay, well it missed too. Tor, you're doing nothing, you dick! What is that? Oh, it's a fire pit. Yeah, don't attack the fire pit. That sounds like the worst idea. Come in, try and sell things to a fucking notice board, then just start attacking a fire pit. This is perfect. I've already got heat stroke. At least they're coming for me, and in no way trying to hurt the fire or the Brahmin are dead. What the fuck, man? And why is it so hard to hit a friggin' scorpion twice the size of a dog? <laughs> Come on, it should be the easiest thing in the world. Come on. I don't understand how you miss these things. How disabled can my guy possibly be to miss something of that size? This is a mission as well, and I'm probably gonna have to skip the fucking combat because of how idiotic our dude is. Come on! Why aren't you helping me, Tor? Alright, combat over. Um, loot the fucker, I guess? I can always sell these. I don't know how expensive they are in this game. Tor, like it. Tor, thank. Bugman, bad. No let Bugman eat Mumus. Uh, I hope we can put a stop to these things, attacking your Mumus. Uh, I mean, Brahmin. I don't think that anything would attack us. Uh, sorry, attack with both of us here. Um, you just- blah blah blah, you see a very large man covered in dust with a small sm smile and a blank look on his face. Are these- are these- Strange, noxious, biological goo. I'm gonna assume that's some toxic cow pat right there. Let's go talk to these guys. What the heck are you doing here? You here to help us or not? We might have a job for you if you're interested. Yeah, tell me about this job. Get the hell out of here. Someone's got works to do. What? What the fuck? I, I just tried to take your job. Is your job to get out of here because you're doing your job? Yeah, I'm interested. Tell me about this job. What the fuck? Who are you, assholes? You don't own anything. You just seem like dicks. Fine, I'm gonna go take out all of these lovely, lovely, lovely Scorps. And, uh, hopefully that'll make Tor even happier and it'll give me his virginity. Okay. I was about to jump cut there to take on those Scorpions. I hope I didn't already, because we just one-shotted one! Maybe we're half decent in life now, who the hell knows, let's end combat, and well, head on down. We don't get extra XP for taking no damage uh, in this game. Maybe you do against tougher enemies, I mean it is only a Scorp after all. But I don't know, I like that little touch from the first game. Well, that appears to- oh my god, what the hell just happened? Where did he just put me? What the hell was that? I have no idea, but I mean we've got shitloads of tails now, and I guess we can go speak to- the guys are gone. Who the hell were those guys, and what were they doing around here? Wouldn't let me talk to them, they just tell kept telling me to go away. Bug's dead. Mumu's safe. Tor, thank you. Well, I mean, is that everything over? What's in this little shack down here? I don't think we actually checked out the shack, right? In fact, I don't remember seeing the shack at all. Is that where these guys came from? Can I go- or is this where Tor lives? Yeah, it's probably just where Tor lives. What the hell is that? Rad scorpion limbs? Eh? These rad scorpion pincers are hollowed out and have a strap with a broken buckle at the end. You mean like wearable? Hold on, were those fucking guys up there masquerading as scorpions to steal the bro- Could I have- have I been murdering those dudes? Well, I mean it was very convincing. And my dude has like the ultimate intelligence, so uh, those guys, masters disguise up there. Especially considering I just can't see them. Plus 50 karma! I got like 5 for saving a dude's dog. Uh, where do I see my karma again? Is it in the- is it in character or is it in Pip-Boy? It's in character. I have 70 karma already and I'm accepted in, uh, and I'm accepted in Klamath already. I do like the whole people like you in this city kind of deal that they've got going on now. I don't think that was- a, that wasn't a thing in Fallout 1 or at least it definitely wasn't a visible stat. Though I am extremely poisoned, which kind of sucks. Um, I'm not really sure what to do now. Let's have a little look around, shall we? Let's uh, visit some of the buildings. What is that? Is this the toilet? Hello? This is exactly the first building I want to visit. I've had a long journey of shitting in holes. Oh my god, it actually is the toilet. Can I use it? 
The sharpened edges around the seat make it a very uncomfortable place to sit. Sit. Well, can I science it? Can we uh, analyze what people have been uh, depositing in there? No? Fine. Whatever. Let's go visit Vix, I guess. What the hell is this place? And do you happen to have a lovely, lovely mission for me? Or is Vic the one who's gone missing? I don't remember. Some dude's gone missing, right? Like one of the traders? Change that I can't rob a shop whatsoever. It's kind of annoying. Ow! Why would you trap that? Especially so unbelievably painfully. I would have died and lost all of my Brahmin progress there if I got hit like once more by a scorpion. And that shit took ages. Don't do it again. Door appears to be locked. Well, I'm gonna fucking pick it then, aren't I? Obviously. How good is my lockpick? Terrible. Well, that's exactly why we're gonna do it. Will this lower my karma at all? I mean, I doubt people exactly are gonna appreciate it, but when has that ever stopped me before? Well, maybe because I genuinely can't do it. Come on! The lack of skill... Your lack of skill has jammed the lock on this door. Wow! So the dude will now just never leave. We've accidentally condemned a dude to starvation. Yeah, so don't fail it more than three times, apparently. I didn't realize there were going to be critical fails on, like, locks. In the first game, I'm pretty sure you could just uh, spam it until it worked. Unless I was just really, 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 really lucky in the first one. Or had way better skills, which is also absolutely the right case.